Hello students, welcome to I must get academy. My dear students, I am coming with the last moment strategy for civil engineering. Especially I have observed in mechanical paper, my dear students, there are the questions which are related to the most of the analysis part. So my dear students, coming to my first subject, I am going to discuss about the reinforced cement concrete design. Please remember the limit state design formulas for singly reinforced section. Please remember these formulas and you are going to get more number of analysis question and concentrate on limit state method and losses of pre-stress concrete and analysis of pre-stress con concrete. My dear students, in uh, the exam is going to conduct by IIT Kanpur and we are seeing most uncommon questions. But don't worry about this. My dear students, if you remember the concepts clearly, the application oriented, you can easily solve the gate questions. So coming to the second subject, geomatics. My dear students, I am pretty sure all the students of IMS will be doing great in geomatics because the most of the questions will be on the compass surveying or photogrammetry and we have a good news on February 11th before the gate exam of civil engineering we have questions we have a paper on geomatics based on the on that analysis also we can give a overview of the geomatic subject I'll be sharing in this telegram group and I will be sharing in the YouTube short and coming to the third subject I'm going to discuss is the hydrology and irrigation in hydrology and irrigation it is more of a theory part but still the base period delta duty is the common question and apart from this question we have phi index w index and infiltration and related to the irrigation efficiency efficiencies please concentrate my dear students coming to the last and the important subject of mine that is transportation my dear students in transportation we are going to get a beautiful questions from traffic engineering that traffic flow is equal to traffic density into velocity please concentrate on these graphs and also the geometric design formulas my dear students please stay relaxed before the exam and my dear students please go through the short formulas and quickly go through the short notes and don't try to panic before the gate exam all the best for gate 23 thank you now i would like to invite my faculty pratik mishra sir please come Hello my dear students, I hope your preparation is going well. We have observed the paper conducted by IIT Kanpur for the branch of mechanical engineering and the type of questions we have seen in this paper for strength of material and fluid mechanics are more application based. You might have learned the concept properly and you even know how to apply these concepts. The only thing required from you for this year gate paper is please read the question properly read it twice to exactly get what is actually asked in your question what is exactly asked as a solution in that particular question if i talk about the subject of environmental engineering my dear students you can expect a application based question from alkinity and hardness you can expect an application based question from standard rate trickling filter and your activated sludge process. If I talk about treatment of raw water, my dear students, you can surely expect a question from sedimentation analysis and the disinfection by chlorine, right? When we talk about the wastewater engineering, you can expect a question from the design of sievers and there is a huge possibility that number of questions can be asked from solid waste management. Solid waste management is easy regarding proximate analysis and the design of the sanitary landfills so you can just go through these two topics in solid waste management and very easy practical based question will be asked from these topics if i talk about strength of material my dear students from the strength of material there are four major areas from where high amount of practical application based question can be framed first area is your principal stresses second is your bending and shear stresses and the third and the most important area is from the deflection side right you can even expect a question from different types of smd and bmd there can be multiple loading right even there you can expect a question from the loading in multiple planes there can be a question where 
लोडिंग विल बी देयर ऑन दी वर्टिकल प्लेन एंड दी हॉरिजॉन्टल प्लेन एंड यू आर आस्ट टू ड्रॉ दी एस एफ डी और बी एम डी फॉर सच काइंड ऑफ बीम राइट सो दीज आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट एरियाज एंड इंक्लूडिंग दैट वन मोर एरिया इज रिगार्डिंग द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ टेम्परेचर स्ट्रेसिस सो ऑब्वियसली दीज फाइव आर द की एरियाज वेन आई टॉक अबाउट स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटीरियल बिफोर रिवाइजिंग इट बिफोर गेट एग्जामिनेशन नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट माई नेक्स्ट सब्जेक्ट स्ट्रक्चरल एनालिसिस as my dear students you already know that a structural analysis has a huge capacity in the variety of framing questions which are application based so surely you can expect a question from the deflection of beams you can expect a question from the influence line diagram and surely you can expect a question from one of the analysis of the truss right it may be method of joints or method of sections and surely there will be one question one question from calculating the degree of static or kinematic indeterminacy although these are the key areas of structural analysis but if i broadly classify these areas and the regular domain from which the questions are framed from the structural analysis one is from degree of static and kinematic indeterminacy second is the influence line diagram and third one is the application of castiglanos theorem so you can keep a check on these three topics before attempting gate examination as sandeep sir has already told you that you may get some idea that what kind of questions can can be framed from geomatics on saturday because we have one of the examination on saturday regarding geomatics so you can take the idea of questions of geomatics on saturday itself right so these are the key areas if i talk about the fixed question that can be asked in your examination is through the calculation of bod and it will not be a direct formula based question you need to understand the question and then you need to decide how to apply the formulas of bod remaining and bod consumed so my dear students i wish you all the best for upcoming gate examination on 12th of february and i would like to remind you once again that we will going to have detailed analysis of forenoon and afternoon sessions of civil engineering examination so join us live on 12th of february for for forenoon session we will going to have analysis from 1 pm onwards and for afternoon session we will continue our analysis from 6 pm onwards so join us on the same platform ims gate academy to analyze the entire examination of civil engineering for both the sections so all the best from my side do well keep your aspirations high and don't worry about the results because you have prepared for this gate examination and you are confident enough to face it and to crack it with a good rank so i would like to invite my next faculty ankit dongrial sir and he will going to tell us about the remaining subjects of civil engineering so ankit sir welcome yeah thank you pratik sir yeah hello everyone i hope your preparations are going well now this is the last high time when you should boost your preparation to the next level this is the particular time when you'll keep on revising your concepts you have already done your study for the different different subjects now it's time that you focus on the major areas of your particular subject now if i talk about geotechnical engineering we already know that the weightage of geotechnical engineering in your exam it is very high right so if i talk about the important points from the geotechnical engineering from where you can expect one question so either the question can be asked from the properties of soil another important topic you can expect a question from the permeability it can be a question either it can be a combined question from the effective stress which can be used for the seepage analysis also definitely there will be a question on consolidation there will be a question on shear strength of soil also and the major part that is the application part of soil mechanics that is the foundation engineering so definitely there will be a question from foundation engineering either from your tarzagi theory it can be a question from the calculation of settlement or it can be a question from the plate load test or spd test other than that there are some topics which are recently added in geotechnical engineering that is your group efficiency of pile so from there also you can expect one question now if i talk about other subject if we talk about the fluid mechanics so from fluid mechanics if we analyze the mechanical engineering paper so there was one question from fluid static one question from fluid kinematics one question from fluid dynamics and also there was question from the boundary layer theory 
so in mechanical engineering they have covered the complete fluid mechanics so if i talk about the important points definitely from fluid static part you can expect one question from the hydrostatic forces on the surface if we make one prediction it can be the hydrostatic force calculation on a curved surface now talking about the kinematics part definitely you can expect one question from the streamline and potential function about your dynamics part there can be one question from the bernoulli's equation or its application now from the boundary layer theory try to focus on the points where there is a variations let's suppose there can be the variation of your velocity the variation of stresses or shear stress so from this particular variation you can get one question if i talk about one particular point so i can expect one question from the distribution of stress or either distribution of velocity between the flat plates now if we talk about the cmm subject so we can expect one question from the uh, test regarding the cement or we can expect one question from the properties of concrete if we talk about the construction material and management construction material if we talk about the project management part so definitely there are two important point topics one is your cpm second is part so try to focus on how to make a network diagram this is all about from my side regarding the important subjects you have already done your preparations well in the last few months so now it is time just revise the formulas just revise the important concepts now i'd like to invite my complete civil engineering team to wish you a good luck hello students hello Anna. my dear students hello dear students i'm very happy to invite uh, means pratik sir ankit sir and myself we are happy to tell you that all the best for gate 23 and remember my dear students geotech and pratik sir uh, environmental and myself transportation these are the three subjects you have to concentrate more pratik sir can you add one more point environment and geotech and transportation combinedly has a weightage of around 45 marks so along with mathematics if you only prepare these three subjects and revise these three subjects before gate examination one thing is sure that you will going to qualify for gate right and adding on that if what all topics we have said just now and told you to revise before gate examination if you focus on these key areas my dear students we have done enough effort on you and you have done enough effort to get and secure a very good rank in upcoming 12th of february so now we would like to say you again Uh, all the best from the IMS Gate Academy team. So all, all the, the best, best, my dear students. Do well. Do well. Do well.